The Always Create Backup feature will initially create a backup copy of your original workbook, after which that copy will backup always on the second save of the original workbook. What does that mean? Well, let's take it step by step. First of all, let's go ahead and turn on the backup feature by coming up here and clicking on the Save As button on the Quick Access Toolbar. Of course, if you don't have it there, you can click on the File tab to go backstage to Save As, or you can see in the pop-up, you can hit the F12 key on the keyboard, which is what I'm going to do here, to bring up the Save As window. Then come down and click on the Tools, go to General Options, and there it is, Check Always Create Backup. Click OK, click Save to go ahead and replace it with the updates that we made to have that Always Create Backup feature on and click yes and there you go. Go ahead and close out so you can see that you got your original workbook on the desktop in addition we now have a backup copy of the original. How do you know? Well a couple things give it away. One is that when you look at the icon this has two pages as opposed to the one and then the two pages has the green arrow pointing to the second page behind the one that's on top meaning that it's receiving information from the original the top page or file to the one that's behind it. You could also look at the name here. This one says Backup Of, and then it's got the original file name. You can also look at the extensions. See this one, the default is .xlsx, and this one, for any backup file, is going to be .xlk. If you don't know anything about extensions, like how to view the extensions or what they mean, I recommend that you watch my Windows 7 training video on extensions. In any case, if I click off and double-click to open up the backup, it says, do you trust its source? Of course I do. And there you go. Just right now, a snapshot of the original because we haven't made any changes to it. So if I go ahead and close out and go back to the original, there it is, double click, and make changes like instead of Doug, will you Doug Ease and hit enter and click save. It doesn't do it on the first save. If I do it on the second save, then the backup will automatically have all the changes that I made in here at the time of the second save. And I don't recommend that you do that because the whole idea of the original workbook is always to be one edit ahead of the backup. And let me go over this a little bit more in detail. So we've got Dougie's here. I click save once. Let me go ahead and close out. When I go to the backup, which is up here, they switch back and forth, which is funny. Let's go ahead and double click on the backup and say yes. Does it say Dougie's? No. So you can see that when I make all the changes in my original workbook, and I do Dougie's, and I change the numbers here, and then I click Save, and I close out, and I'm like, oh, fudge. I really made a huge mistake. Then I can go to the backup where it was before I made all the changes. So you could say that the backup is one step behind the original. So if I close out of here, and I go to my original double click, and I go from Dougie's to Doug's, what's going to happen when I click Save to the backup? Is it going to have Dougie's or Doug's? Remember, it's always one step behind if I click the Save button once. So, the most recent update is Doug's. Before I changed it, it was Dougie's. So now my backup is going to have Dougie's in case if I made a huge mistake that I can always go back to the backup here and open it up and say, yes, I trust the source, and there's Dougie's. So let me close out of here and prove my point in that when you click Save more than once after you make changes, your backup is going to be like your original here. So let me double click to open up the original and double click and get rid of the S and Doug. Now when I click Save, it's going to have the S and Doug in the backup, so it'll be Doug's. But if I click Save again, that second save is now backing up everything that I have here, so it's now a copy of the original. Let me show you. Close out, go to the backup, open it up, say yes. It doesn't have Doug's, does it? So it's not one edit behind, it's now right up with the original. And so what's the purpose of the backup if I don't have a backup that keeps a snapshot of everything I had before I made changes and click save? So long story short, don't hit the save button more than once in your session, because if you do, you're just updating the backup with everything that you made here, all the changes. And then, let me go ahead and close out. Let's go back to the original, double click. You want to turn it off. Do the same thing, click on Save As, Tools, General Options, Uncheck, click OK, Save to Overwrite, with that feature being turned off now, and say Yes. So any changes I make here, like Heffern and D, and click Save, 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 more than one save, which if the backup was still connected to it, 
it would automatically have the most recent changes here with just D Heffernan. So when I close out, go to the backup, it's disconnected. Let me say yes. It doesn't have D Heffernan because remember we unchecked it and it's no longer linked, as it were, to the original file. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.